The birth of a baby, it's a beautiful moment in most people's lives, but sometimes it can also come as a bit of a surprise in terms of time and location. And that's what happened with our next guest, Paula, who unexpectedly went into labor in the back of her car while she was just driving up to the Florida hospital parking lot where she had planned to give delivery. Luckily, her husband was there to catch the baby's head. The nurses rushed out to assist in the rest of the delivery. But the big surprise came later when the couple received a bill with the full delivery room charge of 7,431 bucks. Paula and Joe now join us via Skype with their beautiful seven-month-old daughter, Daniela. Obviously, Hi. first and foremost, we're just so Congrats. happy that everything went well and beautiful you have a beautiful family. baby girl. Yay. And how are you feeling, Paula? Good? Oh, yeah, we're good. And, and Joe, did you actually help in the delivery? Yes, I did. I actually caught my baby girl's head. And by the time the midwife showed up, she delivered the rest of the baby. So, Good Joe, what you. did you charge for that? <laughs> free. First time's free. <laughs> so, obviously, you, after this delivery started and commenced in the parking lot, everything did go well. I know nurses came out, and eventually you were taken into the hospital. But when you did get that bill for quite a bit of money, <laughs> Paula, what was your reaction? Um, well, I was definitely very shocked. Um, I laughed, and then I figured it was a billing mistake. So since she was born in my husband's car uh, in the fire lane outside the hospital, I did call the billing department, and they put my um, file on review twice. It went through a grievance process, and I got letters saying that everything was billed appropriately. I still wasn't satisfied because I, you know, bill something, but not $7,000, it's just not worth that. So I called them and I said, listen, you guys either fix it appropriately um, or I go public with it. And so here we are. Um, and <laughs> We're talking about it right here. We got hospital's attention now because now we have a meeting with them. So we'll see how that goes. Well, good for well, you. Know, there, and, and there has to be a resolution. Yeah. I mean, I mean, number one, it, it it is appropriate to look at your medical bills, your hospital bills, to go through it. Mistakes do happen more often than you know we would like yeah. to admit. So it's great you went through it. I think there's going to be a middle ground here because you did get some services as part of this. But then again, you didn't get other services, so I think it should be prorated somehow. Hopefully they'll itemize it all out, like, you know, baby warming and cleaning and taking care of you postpartum, but not the actual delivery. Cost. Well, and, and I think this does highlight what Dr. Orden said, which is you always have to review your hospital bills. We're just happy, like we said, that beautiful Daniela yeah. is in this world happy and healthy. Thank you for joining us. And that's worth a million dollars. Yes, it, it really is. is. Priceless. It, it is interesting, though, when you think about the service industry, hospitals have their set fees. There's a set fee for delivery, certain number of days in the hospital. And a billing department, in fairness to them, they have no idea how to code for this. There's just, so there, they, there has to be a meeting and someone who has the ability to say, you know what, we're gonna cut this bill by three quarters or whatever the amount may be. Hopefully that's what happens because you can't in the billing, there's just, I'm assuming they sit there they're and they're not like, medical. okay, they're... they don't know exactly what happened. I mean, what how much? It's how more much... like they should be billed for immediate postnatal natal care. Well, right. but you could also argue, and this is just hindsight being 2020, that I don't know where these nurses came from, but nurses had, to, you know, you could argue yeah. that more resources were used by actually having to go out into the hospital parking the lot. You just never know. Lot, yeah. You never well, know. Well, she had to go in to have the placenta presented and removed it's, so i mean it's, part of it. it's just interesting it also goes to show we've done it on on our stage before we've talked about how to be prepared in the case of an emergency delivery that's where i'm just glad that joe had the wherewithal yeah. to hold his baby's head which is the most important thing right don't let that baby just slip out it's yeah. you know that head is important and clearly joe did his job we did reach out to the hospital for a comment about all this their statement included the following we take all of Mrs. Diamore's concerns seriously and are willing to review them further rather than comment on any particular issue. We plan to meet directly with her and address all of her concerns. You can find the entire statement on our website. And it sounds like this is right. probably the way it should go down. We hope that they all get together and resolve this.